All right, in this video, we're going to get the UART set up and we're going to echo back some text to the user. So we'll start by generating a new uh, default template, call it UART, latest version, no dev container, pick your dev board, yes to SDD. Okay, so we'll go into UART and we have our default project as usual. So we'll go into cargo.toml and we'll update the version of ESP IDF sys. We'll add ESP IDF hell version 0.40. Okay, and then we're just going to start building now as we type in the rest. Okay, so go to main.rs. We need to use a few, few items from ESP IDF hell. So we're going to use. We're going to use a UART, of course, and we're going to need peripherals, need prelude, need GPIO, and we're going to use delay, uh, free RTOS for the loop, for the main loop, and then non block for the UART read. Okay. All right, so that should be all we need there. Uh, that was a mistake. Yeah. That should be good. Okay. Okay. So now we can come to our main loop. <clears throat> and first we'll get peripherals. take and wrap that and then we have to get our TX and RX pins so peripherals dot pins GBO 21 for TX peripherals and GBIO 20 for RX and we'll make our configuration and we want to set the baud rate Okay, 115, Okay, well now we'll make our UR driver. And we'll pass in peripherals UR1, the TX pin, the RX pin, and then an option uh, PIO, PIO 0. And this part is from the uh, GitHub example. I'm not really sure what it does, but I'm just adding it in because it works and that's what they showed. So if anyone knows any different, please let me know. All right, then we pass in the config as well. Go and wrap that. Okay. So. Next, oh, we need, uh, that's what it is. Okay. Um, let's see. I need to clean. Sometimes when I stop building, just have to clean it. Okay. Um, all right. So now we have our UART. And before before we loop, we're going to need to make a buffer to store all the characters um, before the user enters a carriage return. That's going to be a vector of U8s. All right, and then we'll go into our main loop where we need another buffer for the, for the read. So we'll pass this buffer into UART.read. I'll initialize it all to zeros. And then we'll match UART.read. Pass an immutable reference to that buffer we just created. Now we're going to say non blocking. The example on GitHub is blocking, but I couldn't get that to work. So um, we're just going to go with non blocking and have a, a polling loop. Okay, so we get an OK result. It'll give us the number of bytes. And then if the number of bytes is greater than zero, 
because it'll return OK even if there is zero bytes to be read. So if the number of bytes is zero, greater than zero, then we know there's something in the buffer. So we're going to say let b, which is the byte that's just read, equal buff zero. Because um, there should only be one character at a time. We're going to loop around so fast. Uh, so let's make that now. We're going to we're going to loop around every 100 milliseconds. So there's no way a user could enter more than one character at a time. OK. Um, so create our byte. We get our, our byte. And then the CLI buff, we're going to push that byte onto the CLI buff. And then if uh, that byte equals, uh, it's called a carriage return. So um, it's number 13, but we'll make a pound of fine for it above. That's the ASCII code for it. Uh, if we have a carriage return, then we're going to try to write the CLI buff. And if we're OK, if we write successfully, then print line. Uh, what we wrote. Okay. Let's see where I'm going. And then if there's an error, we're just not going to do anything with that right now. Okay. And then regardless of the success of the write, we're going to put a buffer. Great. And then for this OK, we need an error op uh, option as well. OK, so let's just change this uh, is 13. We don't want magic numbers. So let's make this called CR. And then we'll define CR up here. So we're going to get a const CR. Let's type E8, A13. That's better. Build. And ESP flash. Great. And the ESP monitor. See here. Okay. Text. ABC. And you can see the this is a mini a mini com that I'm using to communicate. This yeah, one two three. You can see maybe we missed. Oh, we might have missed a byte here. So maybe we need to go faster. But in general, it's working. So that's how you use the UART and. Uh, detect a new character and print it back out to the user. So leave any questions or comments below. Thanks.